All right, it's the end of day 88, and if you can see, I'm in a building. This is actually the Rio Grande Brewery slash Sierra Blanca Brewery. The owner, Rich, and Sue, they are absolutely awesome here. Um, so is Tasha. She's been helping us out as well. But it's just sometimes nice after a rough day that I had today uh, to come here and just uh, relax with some really cool people, grab a delicious kind of home-brewed beer. It's not home-brewed, but... It's just kind of, you know, it's not your domestic stuff. It's uh, unique. And uh, if you're ever coming through uh, Moriarty, you have to stop at this brewery. The beer is so good. They actually have uh, monks that come in here and label their own beer. It's, it's crazy. It's called the Monk's Ale. So definitely try that out. They have a chili beer. Um, New Mexico is known for their chilies. So definitely try that one. But my personal favorite is their Imperial Stout. You want to drink this stout, even if you don't like dark beer, try it, you'll love it. But it's just so cool to be able to be kind of behind the scenes and be rocking out, you know, at a brewery. And this is what Timothy and I get to experience, you know. Yeah, there's running every single day, but we get to see some really cool people and meet some people that we might remember the rest of our lives. And, uh, you know, people here, they're just your regular people rocking out. And, uh, you know, today was a rough day. Uh, the first five miles or so were fine, and then I got on a dirt road. And then the uh, the dirt road ended, so I had to hop a fence and literally run through a field. And the path I had to take was, uh, like, where the cows would walk all the time, their little trail. So I, I did that, hop another fence, run, hop another fence, run through another field, hop another fence. So that, that was my day. Eventually I got to a dirt road that was the pipeline road which I thought I'd you know left way behind I also thought I'd be going downhill from here but I almost went back up to 7200 feet that's pretty much the highest 7200 um, so it was a mental breakdown today um, it was definitely a mental struggle getting through that um, did some walking because some of it I, I running on I was just turning my ankles so it was, it was tough, but you know what? We got through it. Sometimes when the path ends, you have to create your own path, whether it's a run across the country or in your own life or with cystic fibrosis. So that's what we're doing is we're creating our own path even when we have to, and sometimes it's, it means jumping a fence and just cruising along as long as we can. Now, uh, I only got about three more miles of off-road tomorrow, and then I'll be on a highway, and I think from that highway on, I'll be set maybe all the way to Dallas. So... Um, keep following along, keep following the journey. Um, make sure you guys check out Rio Grande Brewery, Sierra Blanca Brewery. It's all both in one here. The owner, Rich and Sue, they're, they're absolutely amazing. Their beer's amazing. If you like beer, you're going to want to try it out. You can definitely order it um, online as well. So check them out. They're, they're hooking us up. They're being so kind, letting us kind of just hang out and do our thing. Um, while we're in town. My buddy Seth is coming into town tonight, so I get to see him. I'm really excited about that. I haven't got to see him in a long time. He, get to see the, he, he gets to see the van and see our adventure and see how it's going. Um, rough day, but it, it's uh, definitely finishing strong. And, you know, we still got 18 miles, 18 and a half miles in the bank, so that's the key to spread the awareness to these people here, the people that we meet. Um, this morning we were at McDonald's for Wi-Fi, and I talked to the guy he pulled up, he saw the van, he's like, what's more than just miles? We told him all about it. He had a billion stories for us, and now we got another follower. We told someone about cystic fibrosis. So that's the key, is to keep spreading the word about CF. And that's what we're doing out here. So follow along, get on our Facebook, tell your friends about it. Tell your friends about our website, morethanjustmiles.org. Uh, you can get apparel on there, our More Than Just Miles hoodies, t-shirts, beanies, and everything like that. Um, I do want to give a big shout out to Velocity and Charlotte for hooking us up with our Gatorade cool clothing for always rocking out my sweet outfit. Um, they, they send me all kinds of awesome clothing and it's, it's seriously amazing clothing. Um, to Lakeside Fitness for of course helping us out, out with our fuel fund and 3M for wrapping our van. Without them wrapping our van it wouldn't have been noticed today. We wouldn't be spreading the word for CF. So. We're doing that, and we got a new project coming up, like I was telling you guys before, at the end of the run. I'll be announcing it soon. We also got a new member, uh, project manager, 
for more than just Miles, and I'll be announcing him as well. Keep following along, rock out, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.